In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can tame a dragon from the How to Train Your Dragon series. Be sure to watch until the end to find out which dragon I make my pet. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Isle of Burke. There's a lot that I wanna get done today, ladies and gentlemen, and before I do that, I just wanna say thank you so much for all of the amazing support on the last two episodes. You guys have really been loving this, so we're gonna keep this going as a series, and I need you guys to keep smashing like. I'll make a deal with you guys. I got a balloon right here. If I'm able to blow it up and pop it in under 10 seconds, you gotta leave a like. You gotta boop it with your left pinky. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> But ooh, okay, ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode, I asked for your guys' name suggestions since we got ourselves a brand new monstrous nightmare. He should be around here somewhere. There he is. There he is. Look at this big beast. I've also started to realize, too, that the dragons will eventually just start dropping scales. I think that, like reptiles, they sort of just, like, shed the scales. So that's how I'm able to get a ton of them. And the cool thing is, if you guys remember from the previous episode, we're actually able to use them in order to get dragon armor. But, uh, uh he said, oh man, that thing is scary. Monstrous nightmares are scarily cute. Oh, sweet. Now I have two out of the seven dragons tamed. So it looks like Fish Legs wants me to go ahead and get the rest of the five dragon species. That is part of my plan today, ladies and gentlemen. But first things first, we need to get the name suggestion. It came from Joseph T. And he wanted our monstrous nightmare to be named Fire Nut. <laughs> Joseph, you just get me. Okay, there we go. We actually have our own dedicated naming station. So we can go over here and name it Fire Nut. <laughs> Welcome to the squad, Fire Nut. <laughs> So now we have Pebbles and Fire Nut as our two dragons. Oh my gosh, I love it. In today's episode, I'm gonna leave Pebbles behind and we're actually gonna take Fire Nut out and test him in battle. Hiccup also asked me to sort of explore the entire area and I've done a really bad job of that. So in today's episode, we're going to be exploring at least to one other brand new biome. Come here, Fire Nut. Three, two, one, take off. Fire Nut's diet consists literally of just meat. So while I'm flying around, I'm going to be on the lookout for maybe some goats that I could just absolutely destroy using Fire Nut's fire flamethrower. But also, I want to go ahead and spend my dragon scales. So last time I was at Gobber, he said that I could always use his dragon forge. So as you guys can see over here, I already have some Gronkle iron, and I can use some of this in order to get monstrous nightmare helmets. Uh, I can get chest plates, the paints, and the boots. I really don't have enough so far, so I think I'm going to go for the Gronkle suit first. I already have the chest plates, so we're going to trade for the helmet. We're also going to get the Gronkle paints and also the Gronkle boots. This thing sounds really scary. Oh, I didn't even realize, bro, the dragon powers it. <laughs> was sick. Careful, Fire Nut. Don't get too close to that thing. It's deadly. Okay, but now we have a full set of dragon scale armor. That is sick. All right, Fire Nut, let's go see what we can find. Let's go back up to the Great Hall. I remember there was another person here that might have a quest for me. Hello there. Those blasted dragon trappers. We're up to our beards in them. I just received a report that they broke into our emergency storehouse and stole our treasure. It's being stored at the Ocean Fortress. Due east from here. I'll mark it on your map. New mission. Treasure take back. Don't worry, sir Stoic. I will go and I will defeat the trappers in one-on-one -on -one combat and also steal all of their cookies. Don't worry, but I'm not bringing them back for you. They're for me. All right, let's go ahead and check our map to see exactly where this is. It looks like it's at the edge of the aisle. While I'm out there too, I might as well locate another trapper ship. Maybe if I take out enough ships, then I can actually take them all out and then we'll no longer have to worry about random trappers coming to kill us. Okay, that is is literally it's that is nowhere near the aisle all right we might have to save that for later ladies and gentlemen but let's go ahead and check out the trapper base come here fire nut let's get it three two one take off <laughs> okay so it looks like we got to go all the way over here to the east side of the map i think i see it ladies and gentlemen it is directly ahead to the east now because this is a trapper fortress i'm guessing that they may have a ton of different dragon species so maybe I can actually find my brand new dragon here. Let's scope it out before we actually land. The last trappers that I fought had so many cannons and nets that it was really difficult to dodge. Fire Nut is a pretty big target comparatively to Pebbles, so we may have to be a little bit careful. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Already showed at me. Lift off Fire Nut, let's go. All right, let's try to see if we can hit them with our fireballs. Oh my gosh, okay. So it looks like this attack, the flamethrower attack, does not really go super far. So I'm gonna have to get a little bit uh, close to, to these really, really angry trappers. And we're gonna have to 
to spelunk them to death, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We took out one. Okay, okay. Let's actually try to get close. There we go. Oh my gosh, we're taking damage. I'm not super worried though, ladies and gentlemen. What is... Yo, I just threw that dude into the ocean. Okay, looks like Fire Nut's taking a little bit of damage, ladies and gentlemen, but I think I still do have some extra meat, so I could always feed it to get it back to full health. Also, I'm gonna be out on the lookout for some dragons. If you guys notice any that are trapped, let me know in the comments down below so that I can get them. It looks like right now, the rest of the dragon trappers are up here. Let's try to fly really, really high up, and then we'll dive on top of them. They'll have no idea what hit them. Three, two, one, dive. Okay, there we go. Worked. Right in front of their face. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, we took them off guard. That was really good. Now we gotta take out his dude. Okay, Fire Nut's taking a lot of damage here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead. I only have two more meat left. Fire Nut. Okay, eat the last of the meat. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta get close here, ladies and gentlemen. The cannons are what do the most most damage out of everything here. Fire Nut's taking a lot. Too much damage. Too much damage. We gotta retreat. I should have brought pebbles, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Well, that did not go as planned. I'm not sure if I want to get too close, but I also don't want them to be able to rebuild so that when I come back, they're at full capacity and strength again. Dude, look at this place. They have so many cannons. I should have guessed it, ladies and gentlemen. We may need to come back later with a little bit more firepower. I'll keep trying to do my best to bring down their defenses, but I don't know if this is gonna work. Fire Nut can only take a little bit more damage here. It looks like there's only one more cannon on this side. Let's try to take it out, and then maybe we can actually land. Looks like we're halfway through fighting the Trapper Fortress. All right, well, we took down that side, and we're only halfway through, or I guess a little bit over halfway. I cannot get too close, ladies and gentlemen. I can't afford to lose any dragons yet. This is literally just, it's, it's my third day here. Seems like my evasiveness is working, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, 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 I got too close. Let's dive in, Fire Nut, let's do this. We got this, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, there's another cannon directly right there. Let's just keep going back and forth, back and forth. Come on, there we go, we took that one out. Oh, there's one up there, I gotta fly. I really could use some extra meat now, ladies and gentlemen. Fire Nut has like two and a half hearts. The last cannons are right here behind back. We took out another cannon, let's go. Come here, you little canoodle doodle. Get that iggly wiggly butt out of my face, come on. Come on, come on, come on, dude. They're, okay, so they shoot really slow. As long as I keep going back, left, and right, we should be able to keep dodging them. Yes, another cannon's down. Where's the last one, ladies and gentlemen? We gotta sniff it out. I don't see it anywhere. I see a couple guards, so I guess we'll just flame throw them to death. That's right, what you doing? What you doing? You, you trying to trap dragons, bro? That, that's not cool. That's not cool. Oh, I think I see the last cannon. It's right behind this building. Unleash fire. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on, we're so close. Oh, did I do it? The trap report has been defeated. Dude, for a second there, I thought Fire Nut was going down. Fire Nut is too powerful, though, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody can defeat Fire Nut. All right, well, we've officially arrived. That was definitely the most difficult thing I've done yet. Oh. Oh, I ran out of breath there. I'm so excited. I'm not sure, ladies and gentlemen, but I think that is a Night Fury. Or uh, not, not a Night Fury. It's a Light Fury. I didn't even know that was a dragon. Is this maybe the mystery dragon? I don't, I don't really have any information on it. What do they eat? I, if I had to guess, it would be fish. Come here. Yes. Yes, it's fish, dude. Look at its tongue. It's, 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 it's tongue's out. That means it likes it. Come on. Yes. Yo! Let's go. No way. This is amazing. Wait. Okay. Okay. So it likes me. Now I just need to get on its back and then gain its trust. Come on. Come on. No, not you fire nut. I don't, I don't even care about you fire nut. Not right now anyway. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Let's flip and go. Let's flip and go. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped. This has to be one of the rarest dragons. I don't even know if they have any other dragons here. I guess, yeah, I should probably look around, but I'm just, I'm like, my brain is trying to process exactly what just happened. Okay, let's try to take off. So this is, I believe, like the fastest dragon. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is. And we could dive down super quick too. And then it should be one of the strongest too. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness! This is the best day! This is just the best day! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm gonna look around the Trapper Fortress just to see if maybe there's other dragons. Also, because we got a brand new dragon, the Light Fury, I need name suggestions ASAP, ladies and gentlemen. Down below in the comments right now, leave some names. It's just so cute. It's so cute. I just want to feed you fish. Look at the tongue is out and everything. I can't believe it. I'm like, I'm like literally, I'm, I'm speaking gibberish at this point. Okay, let's look around and see if we can can find anything useful. From the looks of it, it seemed like that was the only cage. So if I had to guess, that's probably the only dragon that they had. It makes sense though, why they had so many people guarding it because it was a light fury. There's probably some loot around. Oh, yes, there is. Wait, they had so much. There was just a stack of Gronkle iron. Bet, ladies and gentlemen, big bets here. We got meats. We have everything that we need in order to tame even more dragons. This was like a boss battle and I had no clue. I just looked around at the entire base 
place and I couldn't find any other loot or dragon. So I think I got it all. Let's go ahead and take our brand new Light Fury back to the main castle. Once we get to the Great Hall, we can go ahead and tell everybody about our brand new dragon. It is literally so quick. I'm zooming. I'm like the flash out here. Why, hello there, everybody. I got some good news. I got a flipping Light Fury, mate. <laughs> Incredible work. Hiccup, you hearing this? Wow, that's great news. Uh, Dad, the, uh, token. Oh, yes, here. Take this stoic token and place it onto one of those displays over there. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We got treasure take back. All right, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plop down the token inside of this little display. And before I do end off the episode, I want to go ahead and try out our brand new Light Fury by taking down one of the other ships. Now, in the ship, I believe there should be another dragon. I don't know if it's gonna be another monstrous terror or what, but we're gonna find out. I have a feeling this is gonna be pretty darn easy. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's light it up. <laughs> Dude, this is gonna be so easy. So these things can only travel so far. That's the only downside. Other than that, though, ladies and gentlemen, everybody is about to die. <laughs> Yo! No, 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 this is not fair. Dude, this is not fair. Look at it, look at it, dude. The explosion size is unreal. It damages everything in the in the area. Look at this dude, he's about to die. He's about, he about to be dead. He literally, just, I just exploded his face. His face just got melted by light fury attacks. Well, we might as well go around back and make sure that everybody has been exploded by did. And the trapper ship has been defeated. <laughs> they stood no chance that I'm basically a bully. And I think I just stole all their lunch money. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap it up there. Be sure to watch through to the next episode to see exactly what dragon is hiding in this trapper ship. I hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Beckbro Chief of Dragons Jack, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, dudes. Uh